Hello everybody, my name is Kagan and today we're going to watch a pickup day for the Marine Corps Recruit Training Depot uh, 2024 spring. So this past, I think, yeah, two weeks ago. So uh, what recruit training looks like currently, right now, like this year. Uh, I haven't been to recruit training since 2014, so it's probably changed quite a bit since then. Uh, 10 years later, so let's take a look at this video and see what it looks like today. Okay, so you will walk fast, but you will not run. That's a... That's a relatively new thing, I think, because, I mean, when I went through, they still had us, like, running and screaming all over the place, and, like, they didn't tell you to do, like, hey, you will not, you will walk fast, you won't run. Now, I will say the difference between that and, like, OCS, when I went to OCS, which is, like, the officer candidate school, it's uh, basically recruit training for officers, um, I went to that in 2018, so four years after I went to recruit training, so... It was already that kind of thing where you'll walk fast but not run already started getting put into place by then. But when I first went, it was not a thing. You were still running or you were running everywhere. So let's let's keep going. Hold your bag up. Knife handing him. First recruit training battalion. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Those are like their little, their little money bags, I think it is, or something like that. Because like when you get there, you put all your personal belongings, including like your wallet and all this stuff, into your wall locker inside of a specific bag. And I think it's that bag right there. Damn, the pickup day, and there's a dude who's already in. There's a dude with crutches already. You just got there, bro. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My goodness. I bet this guy right here is a power lifter. That dude's definitely a power lifter. He's got the power body right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a big boy. Like, that guy right there, when he gets out of the Marine Corps, he's probably going to go be a state trooper. And I bet he can bench. I bet that dude can bench over 315 pounds. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Uh... That's the kind of body type, yeah. That's a, that's what you call a mesomorph, all right? Uh, whereas, like, the, the senior drill instructor, the guy with the, uh, where is it? This guy right here, that's probably more of an ectomorph, right? Because he's a little bit slender, more slender, more cut. But, uh, yeah, let's get, let's see. Where is he at? All right. Yeah, it's a big boy right there, man. You don't want to get hit by him, man. He probably, I bet he could be like a, I don't know if he could be a, a linebacker, but he could definitely be a tight end. That dude's big. So one of the things they do, and I like how they still have that is like, they would have you count down and then like they five, four, three, two, one, done, sir, done. And then it's like whenever they do uh 
ready, move, discipline. And then they say, they scream discipline and then they go execute whatever task they were given. So I think that's cool. They still, they still have that. Okay, so when they say zero, that means freeze. Stop moving. Like, stop moving. If they say zero, you stop moving. Um, that's why they say freeze or die, you know, because they're like basically, hey, if this, if a drill instructor tells you zero or screams zero, that means you're stopping moving because probably, there's probably something jacked up they're trying to fix. Uh, just want to. So here you see like how they got the their pants, their trousers rolled up. That's because they haven't earned the right. They haven't earned. They don't rate to wear a boot band yet. They don't rate to blouse their boots yet. Um, you don't get to blouse your boots until a certain point in recruit training where you've earned it, where you've you've proven that you're like ready for that. Right. So I'm glad they're still doing that, too. <laughs> eyeballs and they have to look at them <laughs> that's strike two go ahead play me again we're gonna we're gonna play stupid games nice Now, I will say probably one of the things they probably do is they're making sure. So there used to be a period of time where they would like, you know, be like, all right, you're going to take out a canteen. All right. Now you're going to chug that entire canteen to make sure that you're staying hydrated. And they are not allowed to do that anymore. That used to be a thing like back in the day. Um, I don't even think I recall doing that when I was in recruit training. Now that I think about it. But before that, like, you know, or maybe I did. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but. They do make sure you're drinking water because if you don't, you're gonna be a heat case for sure. Because you're just get you're running around screaming and yelling and doing a bunch. Of, especially if you're there in the summertime. Like I was there in in Paris Island in uh, May, June, July, and August of 2014, and it was scorching hot, like absolutely brutally hot. So, like we're pounding water, pounding water constantly. You know what I mean? So like. These canteens are going to keep you alive. You know what I'm saying? You got to drink. You got to drink water, stay hydrated so you don't like be a heat, become a heat casualty. And also so that way you can perform better when you're doing whatever physical training like, or you're getting IT on the quarter deck or whatever. <laughs> I can't get over how big that dude is, man. Look at that dude's back. He's just jacked. I got guarantee that dude could probably, he could guarantee, he probably bench 400 pounds. He probably deadlifts like, let me see. I bet he can deadlift five or 600 pounds easy. I bet. Yeah. Probably can squat well over four, 400, 405. Yeah. That's a power lifter kind of dude right there. Uh, this dude's a little bit thinner. Uh, still, still good though. Cause I mean, they both got, they both got the bald heads. They still look, I mean, they look like state troopers, you know what I mean? Uh, just in Marine Corps uniform. So big boys, big burly boys. Like, so just also, so green belts, green belt instructors are like the enforcer, right? The guy with the black belt is the senior drill instructor. The guys with the green belts are what people refer to as kill hats or heavy or knowledge hat or, or, you know, drill hat or whatever you want to call it. Um, they're like the dudes that 
do a lot of the work. I would say by the time you're the senior drill instructor, you're more of a supervisor supervisory role from what I've been told from friends of mine that have been drill instructors. But um, the green belts are getting slayed, like slayed. So you got you to gotta put respect out for those guys. Oh, you sit down now. When we go to the chow hall, the chow hall where you eat, you're going to drink Gatorade. You're going to drink Gatorade and put salt in your food to replace those electrolytes. That way, when you're out here training, you're not going down and getting treated. Now, when he says that, you are going to drink Gatorade. And the reason for that is because they're making sure that you're getting enough electrolytes because a lot of people will they'll drink a bunch of water and they won't get enough salt because they're just like pounding water all day and like that that'll cause real problems if you if you are low on sodium you need this you need those electrolytes to to be able to perform um the physical requirements of recruit training so that's why they're doing that do we understand Oh man, God. I'm so glad I don't ever have to do this again. It's so brutal, man. Like, it's just like, it's tough. It's tough, but it's worth it. It's worth it. 100% worth it. I just, I just like look at these, these towels, like being folded on the racks just like that for every single one. Everything's uniform. Every single, every single rack's got the, the 45 degree angle. You know, the pillows are all made the same. Like, your gear's all the same staged across the back. Doing, the, like, the cross-legged sit on the floor constantly. Oh, 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 jump the gun there. Jump the gun, buddy. He didn't say, he didn't finish what he's saying. You're like, ah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, in case you didn't realize at this point, you scream I sir a lot while you're there. You probably say I sir hundreds of thousands of times while at recruit training. All right, so when people talk about the quarter deck, this area, you see where my mouse is, this little area back behind him, that's the quarter deck. So if you're getting IT'd on the quarter deck, it's back there. Um, typically, there's this line. You can see there's a little line behind the senior drill instructor right there, back by all of the command photos and everything. That is where you go if you're getting IT'd, which means like, hey, you know, the senior drill instructor or one of the green belt instructors can take you up there and make you do some intensive you know, or incentive training is what it's called, IT. Um, and basically you go up there and you do some workouts for a little bit and get slayed because you mess something up and they need, this is how they correct you. Man, dude, that is bananas. That is so crazy. Uh, it's so weird seeing that stuff and having it having been so long since I went. Like, obviously, it's a little bit different. I think, like, you know, obviously they got rid of uh, 4th Battalion, and I believe that they have 
females and males integrated out there. They're not in the same platoons, like not the same squad bays. I believe males have their own squad bays and females have their own squad bays. Um, I didn't see any female drill instructors with male recruits. So I would assume that the female drill instructors are with the female recruits and they may just be in the same battalion. Um, I don't think they've gotten to a point where they can have females and males in the same bunking, like sleeping quarters uh, just yet, as far as what, I, what I've heard. And I think that's like for obvious reasons, you know, because it's, you know, at this point, like, uh, it's very hard to supervise every single person every single second of the day. And like you have weird stuff happening in the squad bays and in the bathrooms in the evenings and stuff like that, whether it's like all female or all male. Um, so I think that's like one of the reasons they do that. But you do have females and males training together, which is normal anyway. We did that even in 2014. We were doing the same thing because like I was in golf company and our sister female battalion fourth battalion i think we had pop a company that was training at the time and we were all doing land nav together like we were all doing um what's it called uh there's a week called team week where you're like doing a bunch of working parties and stuff and we were all together during that too so um yeah not not too much different than it is now the only difference really now is that there are squad bays inside of the other battalions that are just for the females but they're all integrated into the same battalion so anyway interesting seeing that it's been a long time since i've been there but it's kind of cool to see that there's a lot of similarities even if there are some differences but um anyway thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below and then we'll see you in the next one all right bye